right, we are driving to the airport. Mom's giving me a ride to the fight in Vegas against Mac Lethal this weekend at the High Rollers Tournament. So we are on our way. It's amazing here. I'm just excited to be a part of all this. Amazing people, great jujitsu. I love this community. It's amazing. And you're one of the only people wearing a gi tonight. How happy are you that Mag Lethal was also down right. to kick it in the gi? Yeah, yeah. I, I do more gi, so um, you know when when it was no gi or gi, me and Mac both wanted to do gi. So yeah, I'm, I'm stoked on. It. I'm glad we we're uh, we're able to get the gi tonight. A lot of the matches are no gi tonight, so it's a it's an honor to be uh, to be suited up and in a gi. Yes, it's definitely nice to mix it up. Mac is a very stocky guy. You're a very tall guy. I know you're going to go in there maybe looking for some triangles. Is there any game plan you have going in? You know, just stay solid. Good good pressure, control positions, not get too loose or crazy. You know, try to conserve a little bit of energy and go for the submission. Well, we're so happy to have you here. You are our main event of the evening, and also you have a very successful tattoo uh, company with over 20 years of the Hell City Festival. So tell us more about that. Yeah, so uh, this weekend I'm doing you know the High Rollers event. Next weekend in Columbus, Ohio, I put on my big tattoo convention. So I'm, I'm a lot of anxiety, a lot of squeezing this in. Um, it's our 20th anniversary of the Hell City Tattoo Fest, so we're, we're super honored. It's the first time bringing it back after the pandemic. So yeah, I'm gonna do this, take care of business here, go home, take care of business there. And it's this competition here, your wife also had a burlesque competition, yeah. so you guys are just killing it right now. Do you wanna give any uh, special thanks to maybe her and maybe the teammates that you have back in Ohio? Yeah, definitely, give, give a big shout out to my wife, Ravenna Fox. She competed this weekend at the uh, Panama Burlesque Fest. Uh, give a big shout out to my professor, Travis Haynes in Ohio, under Carlson Gracie at Reynoldsburg. Also, Romulo Caeta. I train uh, under him here at the Carlson Gracie Academy. Uh, shout out to my parents, my son, Logan, everybody, my son Sid, uh, everybody watching, thanks. A beautiful wife, a great team over there. Thank you so much, Durham, and good luck tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the co-main event of the evening. Scheduled for six minutes, introducing first, Make some noise for Derb Morrison! And his opponent, Mac Lethal! This is a Gi match. My friend MVP is a Gi world champion at Purple Belt? Yeah, Masters Purple Belt world, yes. And I take it that's uh, when you were awarded your brown belt after you took home the gold there. You take it correctly, yes. That's when uh, Professor Andre Santos on the podium gave me my brown belt, and I was so stoked for that. That's earning it. So while I, uh, you know, I, I, I'm partial to Gi, I love I, I love the pacing of Gia. Ladies and like gentlemen, more... introducing first to my right, he stands six feet four inches tall, weighing two hundred pounds. This tattoo artist represents Carlson Gracie Academy. Make some noise 
Sportard Morrison! And his opponent to my left, he stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing 190 pounds. This rapper represents Kansas City Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Academy, Matt Lee Paul! And the number one referee in the game, Darren Brad! All right, the celebrity match. Dirt Morrison, the taller guy with the head of hair, with the Carlson Gracie Bulldogs on his back. And I thought Derb was like a nickname. He said, nope, that's on his birth certificate. It's not just slang for Derb and Poison. D-U-R-B is on his birth certificate. His mother yep. and father Dean to name him Derb. I just figured it was a Derb and Poison nickname. Like, Boom. that's his favorite I strength. I see what you did there. <laughs> Derb pulling guard, oh, oh, gets oh, a oh, sweep. Oh, oh. Right to an off, arm bar to, nope, Kimura, what's he gonna stay on top, go to a knee bar. Derb, nice sweep there. There we go, nice hip movement, there you go. Get back on top and yes. get that dominant position. Derb in the half guard now, but nice sweep. Just a, you, the hook sweep with the gi, take your butterfly and lift. And let's see if he could pass this uh, half guard or, or go for the Kimura like Mario Sperry style from the half guard. Pushing down on that knee, trying to slide that right leg out, pushing through to escape that half guard into a full mount. Mac Lethal able to keep him in that half guard for now. See uh, Derb trying to isolate that left arm there. He's pulling the gi underneath. Good job by, Mike, by Mac Lethal to turn back inside into him. Yep, he gets the, the grip on that lapel from underneath. There's a gi choke he could go through from here. The forearm uh -oh. scissor gi choke. Let's see if he goes for yes. All right, it looks like he's still got that grip. But that's how you do it with the gi. One good grip and you control your opponent. Yes, there derp, it is again. Derp, yeah, derp and feeding yes, it through to the other there's hand. There's that scissor choke with the forearms. Derm's up. Going for it, gets out of the half guard. This is tight. Let's see if he can tap Mac Lethal here. Mac in all sorts of trouble. His head's turning red. You think he's gonna get it? Ah, Mac's a warrior, he's hanging in there. Derb doesn't have it yet. There I got it him, there it is. Shout out to Mac Lethal for hanging on that long. Wow, Derb Morrison at 49 years old gets a submission victory here at the High Rollers Celebrity Open. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner by submission, Derb Morrison! Derb Morrison dedicating this fight to his wife, Servana Fox. Man, congrats to both of these guys for going out there and going at it. That was really nice. Good display of uh, jiu-jitsu. Dura Morris is securing the submission over Mac Lethal. And here oh, comes Big Lon. Oh, yeah. What's up, my brother? All right, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time. Make some noise for Derb, y'all. Make some noise. All right, Derb. Let us know how it feels to be your first high rollers. Was it everything you expected? How was your match going? Did it turn out the way you thought it was going to turn out? And when your ass coming back, brother. Yeah. First of all, thanks for having me. It's my second time I've been here. I'm a little out of breath. Second time I've been here, man. It's an honor to be on the card. I want to say thanks to Mac Lethal for taking the fight. Awesome guy. Let's give it up for Mac. And this, is, this is an honor. It's awesome to see everybody out here coming out and support the fighters. I'm ready to smoke up. Who else? <laughs> oh, all he want to know is who's next, y'all. All right, guys. One more time, make some noise for Dirt! Oh yeah, you know what, my bad. Shout out to Hardin, they got a thousand dollars worth of that good shit for you over there. And we got a nice little Evo over here from Dr. Dabber for you. Looks like oh, Mac man. Lethal wants to my take man. the mic there and say go. a little Shout something. Shout out to Dirt, baby. They should let Mac Lethal cut a quick little uh, freestyle. Yeah. You know, originally I said I didn't know who Mac Lethal was, but I was